Charter Spectrum boosts minimum internet download speeds to 100 megabytes per second. Uh, if you're on Spectrum, that's that whole it's here with their fiber optic investment that they've been doing. Uh, they're pretty great, guaranteeing up to about 78%. And that's the way one of the videos is doing in my future off time. I'm probably going to log into Final Fantasy for the first time. Uh, but you see how fluid the video is playing. Uh, the agent told me about 70% of what they're doing uh, which I guess is realistic in a ballpark sense I'm not sure if they're supposed to or not supposed to uh, but I, I appreciate the information hundreds about what it's guaranteed uh, bus token ring of the old day uh, I don't think the spectrum is is oversharing the the wire network but uh, you're assuming 70% of 100 that's uh, 70 megabytes per second as a uh, guaranteed or expectation uh, with a, a loss in the uh, uh, normal curve or uh, the squinch over that noise reduction curve and I, I could see that I, I can see that as far as the signal transfer with signal loss uh, and uh, that's okay when it hits its peak uh, I, don't, I don't think that's that bad of a thing so uh, just wanted to demonstrate real quick that that's what that looked like. I think I can draw that here. Uh, that's here. Like that. That's a normal curve. And let's see here. And that's the upper tail. And that's 100 times 0 0.70. And that's 70 out of 100. And there we go. And that, so uh, those types of things there. Uh, that that's here in that oops, like that, and there you go. All right, so that's seventy over hundred, and then that's here with that uh peak tape thing here, and I think that's why, and uh, leave that X here. That's a hundred, and then uh, that's seventy megabytes, uh, megabytes, and then per uh, second, or megabytes per second, like that, and it's going to drop from seventy to a hundred. So that's not bad, and it looks pretty fluid. I'm not disappointed. I would play the sound through this, but I believe some sound of some videos are copyrighted and as their content more than the visual input without uh, a second uh, backing opinion or explanation summation opinion uh, to the video that they're looking at is considered more of the content than just the, the visual itself so uh, that's why I've got this on mute there uh, but uh, I thought you should see it and uh, I can't wait 100 megabytes when I first tried to call into uh, Spectrum uh, is considered um, what's that called gamer speed uh, fast enough to actually support uh, systems that are, are doing a lot of things over the internet with the extreme data download almost like an uh, AutoCAD thing but with that that's uh, this is a PS4 in this trailer by uh, Ruricon I apologize for messing up his name Final Fantasy XIV and Realm Reborn PS4 gameplay impressions. The XIV has no system on it uh, to worry about. Uh, Xbox 360, so that's like a H2O type thing there. And that's here. And that's uh, H2 plus O, but I got my chemical thing right there. And uh, that's here. So you've got a box and a box. This one's got Windows 8, just like the Surface uh, laptop computer type thing there with the blue keyboard. And that the software that's on on the Surface is Surface Pro is on the Xbox One. It's on there, and then the game information is also on there. So it's got one. It's got Windows 8. And two, it is got the game kernel to it, to thing as well. 
uh, the game information and all the the uh, basically what it needs to think of type thing within uh, the circuit type thing in that type of sense with some free space given to Windows 8 type thing there so uh, the PS4 does not have the uh, voice command that comes with that software and other uh, menu options that come with the Windows 8 uh, the towel system is in there from here uh, that's in Xbox is the same thing that's in the Surface Pro, the same uh, thumbnails type thing, same color basically. So for this one's more green for Xbox Gates Windows, and uh, the PS4 doesn't have the menus, so it's less menu options, but it increases the the space allowed for the video game uh, production, video game operation. So you have to choose whether or not you want both of those to exist, but that's cool. Um, there should be more there should be more space like so like now there's like a hundred percent available for the video game or close to it like compression doesn't do absolute like eight percent is for the software of the company type thing that compress it and make it right within their folder type thing in a type of sense which is Windows Explorer or Dropbox but um, in that type of thing so you probably have 92 percent free here and you probably have 68 percent free on uh, the uh, Xbox One, which is in, instead of the PS4, so less cooler stuff in your PS4 to do. Like you talk to your PS4, PS4, play game, and nothing will probably happen. PS4, snap, game and TV. No, no, nothing. But in that type of sense, the PS4. You can go through it type thing, and you won't have like some type of Windows 8 update going in the background for downloading type thing for your video game. But some might say that the PS4 uh, probably has more action in its own kernel or like computer chip to think about in that type of thing. So now that's a computer chip. That's one. That's Windows 8, which it's got to think about. It's got to keep operating even when you're playing the game. It's got to still operate when the Windows 8 software in the background. Yeah and that's the second thing then it does the game whereas the PS4 one just does the game like that yeah. so it's got more free space and so the developers can push into that free space type thing and, and deliver that to you rather than be held back by the Windows 8 software but it's very complicated but it's it's pretty straightforward uh, anyway that was the uh, a look at it and thanks Spectrum for doing so very very impressive uh, megabyte transfer and I appreciate that. Okay, have a great one out there.